Hello YouTube, today I'm at Ziegler Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this 2020 Ram 1500. Uh, this particular one is the 1500 Bighorn with the all new Midnight package. Uh, this is a new package for the 2020 model year. Some of the key features of this package include blacked out grill, black grill surround, as well as uh, black headlight bezels. Um, the difference between this package and the um, blackout package is you actually get uh, color matched front and rear bumpers with this vehicle. Coming down here, you have a 20 inch black wheel on some Bridgestone Dueler HLs and the size looks to be a 275-55 R20. All your badging on this vehicle is black as well. It's your Ram logo. Black running boards that are cab length. Color match door handles. I believe this is the flame red color. Very nice looking. And these tail lights are blacked out as well. Uh, the Midnight package, I believe, is available on the Bighorn and Laramie models. Again, here's your color matched rear bumper. Parking sensors are integrated as well. Four pin and seven pin connectors. Backup camera, pretty standard stuff. Very, very nice overall looking exterior. Uh, something that I like, as you can see, they give you these plastic um, body moldings on the side, in front and behind the wheels to protect against rock chips and corrosion. And you also have a sort of uh, mud guard right here as well. Right here is your capless fuel fill port. As you can see, this vehicle does have automatic start, stop included. Very beautiful looking truck. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So here's the interior of this vehicle. Um, it is essentially the same as the uh, 2019. However, this is the new uh, 2020 model year. So like before, you have all of your window controls and your mirror controls right here. This vehicle is equipped with the power folding mirror option, which is awesome. Coming over here, we have all of your lighting controls and then your dimmer switch for the instrument cluster up top. Below that, we have your electronic parking brake and your adjustable pedal button. Coming up to the instrument cluster, tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, and this absolutely beautiful uh, LCD display in the middle, which is extremely configurable. Each corner, you can control a different parameter to monitor, and you can also control what is displayed right here. In this current configuration, the distance to empty is displayed right here. Working our way back to the steering wheel, very nice leather wrapped. This control pad right here controls the LCD display and the instrument cluster. And then to the right of that, you have the hands-free call button. Coming over to this side, we have all of your cruise control buttons right here. And then down here, we have your gear limiter selector. Just like on all FCA vehicles or most FCA vehicles, you have a channel seek or scan rocker on the back of the left side of the steering wheel. And then a volume control on the back of the right side of the steering wheel. This vehicle does have push button start. Coming up top, we have a shallow storage compartment right here with a 12 volt outlet. Beautiful eight inch Uconnect touchscreen display. Um, I believe this is the highest resolution and the most um, responsive you can get, uh, not only within the truck market, but um, within the luxury car market as well. Going to the backup camera real quick. Um, very, very high definition. I'm a huge fan of this display. Uh, not only does this have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, um, you can also control the climate from the touchscreen itself. 
Working our way down here, we have your physical buttons for the radio, as well as your hazard light button. Below that, we have your heated front seat button, as well as your heated steering wheel button. And then we have all of your physical controls again for the heating and cooling in this vehicle. Coming over to the left side, we have your rotary dial shifter, push button transfer case selection right here, and then under that we have the automatic start stop off button. Coming back to this side, traction control off button, tow haul mode, and your parking sensors rear and front buttons on off. Um, I love that you have physical buttons you can push instead of having to navigate through the touchscreen display. Below that we have a little storage cubby with two USB-C's, two USB ports, and a auxiliary jack. Coming back here we have the configurable center console, which you can move to I think three positions phone storage holder right here, as well as a 115 volt 400 watt power outlet. Bringing this center console back, we have two cup holders, some change storage as well as a storage tray. Coming to the other portion of the center console, the shallow portion has a USB port with dimple for cord management. Lift that up, giving you access again to the deep storage compartment. Um, if you look closely, I don't know if you'll be able to, that'll come through on camera. It looks like, there we go. Uh, Ram has put the previous generation of trucks on this little divider right here. And then they also gave you a bunch of um, Math equations, trigonomic ratios, Pythagorean theorem, standard to metric conversions, and fraction to decimal charts. Very cool. Here's a look at the cloth seats in this vehicle. Again, same as 2019. You've got a um, glove compartment right here. Push this button, giving you access to it, and it is LED lit. And then you have your standard glove compartment down here. Coming up to the vanity. On this big horn, it is halogen lit for both passenger as well as driver. And you do have a three door universal garage remote on the driver vanity. Up here, we have all of the buttons for the dome map lights. This center button right here controls the power sliding window. And then in front of that, you have some nice glasses storage. Overall, very impressed with this vehicle. Um, I love the Midnight Package. That's probably one of the biggest selling points to me. Let's take a look at the back and see how much room we have. Before I get into the vehicle, I wanna go over this. This is the second generation of the um, in-floor storage. It is bigger than the um, 2018 and lower model years. This is also removable, so you can put ice in there. You have centimeter measurements on the uh, short side and then inch measurements on the long side, and that is for both driver side and passenger side as well. These seats do fold up very easily, one-handed. Getting up and in is very easy with these running boards and the grab handle they give you. They haven't installed the floor liners yet on this vehicle. Two cup holders right here with dimples for a tablet so the rear passengers can be entertained. Two USB ports, two USB-C ports, as well as another 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. As you can see, I have tons of room in this vehicle. Easily um, 11 to 12 inches of knee room before my legs hit. Coming back to the center uh, seat, it is a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And then you do have hanger hooks on both driver and passenger sides as well as a halogen dome light. Tons of room back here. I would be extremely comfortable going on a long car ride in this vehicle. Let's take a look at the bed. So here's the bed on this vehicle. Um, this being a big horn, there's only one way to open the tailgate. Uh, if you opt for a different package or a higher trim, um, you can do it with the key fob. There will be a button right by the rear view mirror, or you can come up to it, push the button, and it will release. Now this is a assisted tailgate um, and it is extremely light being made of aluminum. You do have four tie downs at all four corners of this vehicle. 
very nice. This color is absolutely beautiful. And then putting up the bed, or tailgate I should say, one finger, it's up and locked. Let's take a look at the window sticker now. So here's the window sticker on this vehicle. Again, it's a 2020 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4. The base price of this vehicle is $42,540. This does have the 3.6 liter V6 with e-torque, mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. All of your standard equipment is going to be right here. And your optional equipment is going to be right here. The night package being a $1,895 upcharge. The total price of the vehicle is $49,650. All of your fuel economy ratings are right here. This vehicle is rated at 19 miles per gallon city, 24 miles per gallon highway, for a combined fuel economy rating of 21 miles per gallon. Now, a lot of people that watch my videos complain about total price or MSRP on a vehicle. Very rarely, if ever, should you actually be paying sticker price or MSRP. Um, Ram in particular does a very, very good job at offering discounts, rebates, and incentives to get people into these vehicles. And it's not unheard of to get around 15 to 20% off. Again, depending on what you qualify for and what time you buy. So this total price could realistically be around this price, if not a little bit lower. Again, it just depends on um, outside factors. Again, I'd like to thank Ziegler Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram located in Granville, Michigan for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in a new 2020 Ram 1500, uh, I will be putting all of the contact info in the description below. Uh, as, as of the time of me filming this video, uh, they have a couple on their lot and then I will be posting more videos as more come in. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.